The NRMP started collecting demographic data in this past match year, the 2022 matched year. As you may know, the NRMP has been collecting only ranking and matching data for the last 70 years, and about 10 years ago, we began to collect professional data that was self-reported by applicants around their research, around honor societies, things like that. But we are looking at the data that we have, which is the ranking and matching data, and trying to better understand how an applicant moves from the application and the interview process into the ranking process and then how they ultimately are placed in their programs. As I think about what is really rewarding about this work that we're doing with the demographic data and our research agenda, I think seeing the community respond positively to having more information about a challenging subject is really rewarding. There is a lot of discussion and there are numerous efforts around diversity and equity in medicine. There's a lot of discussion around systemic racism in medicine and whether or not the physician workforce mirrors the community that it serves and if it doesn't, how does that adversely affect patient care within the community? Because in the end, this is all about patient care. Race and ethnic distributions, to some extent, there's both overrepresentation and underrepresentation. Applicants who would be classified as Black or African American are underrepresented in many specialties. In many specialties, Black or African American applicants match at lower rates to preferred specialties than white applicants and certain other race ethnic groups. Again, highly variable by specialty. Relative to the general population, Asian applicants were quite overrepresented at 41.2% of the applicant pool that preferred internal medicine, but that's also a function of applicant type because large numbers of non-U.S. citizen international medical graduates preferred and matched into internal medicine, and a large number of those non-U.S. citizen international medical graduates are Asian. For me, the rewarding part of the demographic data collection in our research agenda is our ability to begin to look at data that asks some really hard questions, that shines light on issues that are hard to talk about, but are so incredibly important, not only to the individual physicians and the programs that train them, but literally to population health and to the wellness of our communities. When we put out a call for public comment around the collection of the public data, we actually experienced a lot of excitement. The student groups were very excited. They felt that the NRMP was especially positioned to be able to collect and utilize this data in a research capacity. I hope that these UME and JME organizations see that the NRMP is willing to step into a space that it has actually never stepped into before and to be a participant with the other organizations, programs, and applicants to find solutions around diversity and equity.